Hi guys, this is James, Client Manager at Wavestreaming.com and today I want to talk to you about a brand new little tool I found which is called M3W Streamer. So let's go ahead and launch the program. As you can see, it's pretty simple. It may look a bit complicated to start off with. It has got quite a lot of options and it's fairly busy. But the essence of this program uh, is pretty simple and it's very straightforward and easy to use. And to be honest with you, it's a great little replacement for Winamp and the Shoutcast DSP. If you don't use Winamp to broadcast, um, it can be a bit of a pain having it running all the time just so you can broadcast. This essentially removes the need for Winamp. It's a standalone application and it's absolutely perfect. If you're not going to be using Winamp to play your music, maybe you're using some radio automation software or something else. Um, this program does just, the, does just the trick, to be honest. Okay, this is quite easy to set up. Now, I've ordered a Shoutcast server from wavestreaming.com and I've got my welcome email here. Um, as you can see, I've got a host, a port and a password. Now, these are the three essential elements I need to connect to the server. So I'm just going to go and copy my host name uh, and then going to click on options and broadcast on M3W. I need to select IC here because IC is the Shoutcast protocol and I can go and paste my host name in there. So that's chill.wavestreamer.com. Obviously that may vary depending on uh, what server you're allocated to. The port name, uh, the port ho number, sorry, is uh, again completely unique to you. Uh, so I'm just going to paste that in, in this case it's 8408 and then I've got a password which is test password so I can just put that in there. The mount point and the user aren't relevant to Shoutcast so we can just remove them. We can then give our radio station an identity so obviously this is going to be completely unique to you but I'm just going to fill it out with some fairly generic stuff. So Wave Streaming Radio Live is my station name and my URL. Again, description doesn't really apply to Shoutcast, so we're going to leave that empty. You can also allow the program to automatically reconnect should the connection drop, so I recommend you check that box as well. Okay, so we've set the encoder up. Now we can set our bit rate up, which is the quality of the broadcast. Um, and as you can see here in the welcome email, it says maximum bit rate is 128K. So we're going to go to options and then encoder and we're going to go for a constant uh, bitrate and then we can just change this to read 128 instead of 32 and those three zeros just leave them in place it can be a bit confusing and pretty much all of the other options um, I just best I just to be honest just leave them alone uh, we can always go for joint stereo which is mono or stereo um, as it's 128k I'd recommend stereo uh, if you're anything like 64 or be below I'd go for joint stereo which is mono so then let's click OK and we're pretty much ready to get started. I can then start the capture from the sound card um, and as you can see that's immediately picking up on my voice as I'm speaking down the microphone. I can leave this alone because this essentially is if you want to broadcast from an MP3 file but what I want to click now is this broadcast icon because that will actually connect to Shoutcast and start streaming. Then if I get this, up, uh, you know, this Shoutcast status back up uh, and refresh you can see that I'm now online at uh, Wavestream Radio Live uh, with all the details I just entered. And if I tune into that, I'd actually hear myself speaking right now. So that's it. This is another alternative to the Shoutcast DSP. Um, it's relatively come along relatively recently. Uh, it's an open source bit of software, so you can download it absolutely free. It's worth checking out if you're not using Winamp to stream with. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for tuning in. Bye-bye.